With all these new changes to the AMP testing process, schooling, and even the material being tested on, I'm sure you're left wondering, what do I study? Today, we're going to get into exactly what you should be looking for and studying from. We've all heard that the go-to study material is the ASA Prepware, or Jepson, but I bet you didn't know that there's others out there too. McGraw-Hill and Dauntless, to name a couple. They all have their pros and cons. Each one goes into depth on some things that others don't or they break down and organize the subject matter differently from each other. These recent changes to the material have not yet been reflected in the study materials by these third-party companies as of publishing this video. Right now, the most up-to-date and comprehensive study material is the stuff available for free from the FAA. Now, the formatting in the FAA's material leaves a lot to be desired, and some things aren't broken down in very understandable ways, but all of the questions are generated directly from the material that the FAA publishes. This means that studying and working from this material will leave you the most prepared. However, it does appear that the questions are still being sourced from the 8083, 30, 31, and 32 alpha revision handbooks rather than the new 8083-30, 31, and 32 Bravo handbooks, though cross-referencing the material reveals little difference, if any, in those existing questions. So using the third-party material will still currently give you accurate and up-to-date information. Just for how long, I'm not so sure. Probably at least until the new 8083, 30, 31, and 32 Charlie revisions are released. That being said, these third-party study guides do a great job of breaking down the material. They cover a large majority of the information you will need to know for the tests. However, there are many DMEs that I have spoken to that have made mention that those who only studied one version of the material tended to not be as well prepared as those who supplemented the study guides with each other or with the FAA's provided material. They also spoke of the need to really pay attention to the new oral questions, as they are a lot wordier than the questions were under the practical test standard. You also need to be prepared to be answering oral questions during your practical test. These oral questions during your practical exam can be answered using reference material, and that means you can look them up if you need to. However, it is incredibly important that you be able to answer these questions without the reference material, if at all possible, because during the strictly oral portion, you will have no access to the material. Finding a study partner or someone who can quiz you using existing practice study question banks is vital. You can uh, even try my quiz feature that I'm using in the community tab if that seems helpful to you. Dedicating time to being quizzed like this and improving your retention of information through diligent repetition is key in preparing yourself for the exams. Remember, this is intended and always has been intended to be a living document. As the industry changes and procedures change, so does the content of the test and the questions being asked. As you work through your journey, you need to always be learning. If you've learned something today, drop a like and a comment down below and let me know what you've learned. Part of always learning is keeping up to date with the reference material and being aware of the changes to the material. The more you cross-reference and refer to the FAA publications, the more familiar you will become with them and the easier they are to navigate or understand. The FAA's 8083 handbooks are currently in revision B, as I mentioned earlier, but they are working on updating and improving the handbooks. These revisions will include content that has been asked for by industry leaders and members of the board that was assembled to help construct the new ACS standard and testing processes. They provided a lot of information during the formulation of the new ACS testing procedures, and that influenced a lot of things like the waste management being added. You should expect to see a revision Charlie released within hopefully the next year. I will try my best to keep publishing content and let you know as soon as the new handbook revisions are released. I am also still working on my own study guide, though I expect with the workload it's generated along with things that are going on in my life, I will be at least one revision behind by the time it is ready for the public to view. If you are interested in a sneak peek at it and a several thousand page PDF document that combines all of the FAA's current reference documents for the Airman Certification Standard Test, uh, feel free to shoot me a message through the contact form on my website linked in the description below. If you found this information helpful and you want to continue learning with us here, go ahead and click the video to my left. Thanks for coming. See you later.